It's a time to resist yourself or get punished. God is speaking. I, the Lord, this day am telling you, be ready and alert. For many people across the nations are about to be shocked, especially those who are not resisting. Remember, it's a time to resist. A time to resist, I say again. It's a time to stand firm in your faith, in your determination, in your devotion, and in your discipline to avoid the temptations of the evil world. People around you might be provoking you to celebrate Halloween, a day where the people celebrate the darkness and practice the evil spirit's terror and haunting ways. It's a day when the unwise people surrender before the dark spirits and embrace them even if it is as only in a fun way. But remember, my beloved, you are not from evil. You are from me, your God. You have conquered evil. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, it is written, You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. The spirit within you, my spirit, is greater than any darkness that exists in the world. It is this truth that should be reflected not only in your heart but also in your actions and choices. Therefore, the one who is in you should be reflected on your face and body. If the evil is there in you, it will be reflected on your body and the face and the day of Halloween. If you embrace all these evil spirits' costumes and portraits yourself as these dark beings, you will unknowingly or knowingly welcome these evil inside of your heart. The costumes themselves may seem harmless, but the intent behind them matters. The energy and intentions behind these actions may open the door to darkness. As a child of the light, your heart is a sacred dwelling place where my presence resides. It is a place of love, purity and grace. When you choose to engage in activities that glorify darkness, you risk tarnishing the sanctity of your heart. While these choices may seem like mere fun, they can have deeper spiritual consequences. The forces of darkness can exploit any opening, no matter how small, to encroach upon your inner sanctuary. 
I urge you to be mindful of your choices, not out of fear, but out of a deep love for your soul. I invite you to consider how you can be a beacon of light on Halloween, rather than allowing darkness to encroach, instead of participating in practices that may compromise your inner sanctity, you can choose to shine my light. Use this day as an opportunity to spread love, kindness and joy to those around you. Offer a smile, lend a helping hand or share words of encouragement. Stay away from sinning, but shine your light in the darkness. Expose the darkness with your glorious light that comes through me. And let people come in the truth of my word. Let the light within you shine brightly, dispelling any shadows that may seek to dim your spirit. In doing so, you will not only protect your heart, but also serve as a testament to the power of love and faith. For those who may mock me or my words, even after being exposed to my light, they will be surprised by the consequences that will arise not through my actions but through the biggest enemy of humanity the father of evil the devil my beloved do remember it's a time to shout against the enemy Shout today, resist today, and watch the enemy. Watch them, watch all of them, their words, their actions, and their plans fall apart right in front of you. Because I, the great I am, have never left you, and I never will. I will give shock to the enemies of light and I am bringing you things you have been praying for and standing for in unconventional ways. And you will know that only I, that great I am, could have accomplished and pulled off exactly what is about to be done on this earth. I ask you to resist. Resist these enemies through the determination and the strength of your heart that comes through me. Resist the temptations around you to praise the dark beings and stay connected to my teachings and words. This is not the moment to surrender or yield. It is the time to remain steadfast in my presence and in the guidance of, of my word. Walk in the light. Shine forth my love and may your choices always reflect the purity of your health declares the Lord. Type, I am the child of God and share this message with each and every single person in your mobile phone. Let the light of God reach each and every single person through this message 
and be a part of establishing the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. Remember, the true essence of Halloween does not lie in the darkness but in the potential for transformation and renewal. It's a time to celebrate the victory of the light over darkness, of life over death. You can choose to honor this day by embracing these values. And for now, let's offer an extraordinary prayer to God. Almighty God, my loving and gracious Father, I praise you. I love you. I need you at this moment and forever. Father, I come in prayer at this moment, thanking you for the message. I am grateful for your love and the light you have graciously bestowed upon me. which dispels the darkness that often surrounds me. As I face a world where values can sometimes be distorted and I am presented with choices that may not always align with your teachings, I seek your wisdom. Lord, help me discern what is in alignment with your divine will and what is not. Grant me the clarity to make choices that honor your presence within me and the sanctity of my heart. I understand that there are those who may not fully comprehend the significance of your light and who may mock or challenge me. In these moments, Father, I ask for your strength to endure and your grace to respond with love and patience. May my actions and words reflect the love and understanding you have shown me. I also pray for those who may be swayed by the darkness and the enticements of the world. I ask that you will touch their hearts, open their eyes to the truth and guide them back to the path of righteousness. Lord, I place my trust in you, recognizing that the consequences of my choices, whether they lead to light or darkness, are ultimately under your divine sovereignty. I pray that you shield me from the influence of the enemy of humanity and that your protection surrounds me at all times. I thank you, Father, for the strength, guidance and grace you provide me as I navigate this world. I hold fast to my faith in you and seek to walk in your light in all that I do. In your name I pray. Amen. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and feel free to leave Amen in the comments. May God bless you.